um, this number is the coordinator. And so you just ask for the coordinator for your county, and she can help you get connected. And hopefully she can help you get uh, that labor. Who do, we, uh, who do we talk to about sensory? Sensory is um, the occupational therapist at school. Okay. And so and then I, can, I can actually give you some. So then what we need to be doing with him at home is a lot of sensory activities to get him used to things. And that will help him uh, eat better and, and grow out of some of that, hopefully. The more he comes in contact with using his senses, like playing and shaving, training and playing, and um, puddings and you know, you make some pudding and you let the play in it, or you make jello and you cut out shapes. You hide, I've seen him you make jello and you hide some of his cars in there, and then he has to dig with jello to find his cars. So, all those things sound really gross, doesn't it? Well, sound like some boy stuff. <laughs> she, she nearly flipped that she went, I think that's something for you to do. I don't think I can do that. Um, she just, um, she said, Oh, that sounds so messy. But yeah, that, that's what helps him get his hands dirty, get his hands clean in the mud. You know, we need him to get used to things like that. So the lights, when they say, when you look on Amazon for like sensory toys and things, they show you sensory lights. Do they supposed to stimulate them or is they just like decorative stuff? Sensory lights are if kids have problems dealing with the lights at home. Oh, okay. But it's not going to help them grow out of it. Okay. Yeah. It ain't nothing. What about yeah. like weighted blankets? Weighted blankets will help him sleep better at night. Um, yeah. Weighted blankets. There's even a. He gonna turn it right back up on you. Sheets, something like that. That's real. Like a like, it's like a sleeping bag. I mean, they're sheets, and they like cuddle you really okay. tight. And really tight pressure. Kids with that sensory issues really like being wrapped up like a burrito. Okay. And so even wrapping him in a blanket like a burrito would probably help. But a lady blanket helps too. Kind of like when he first got here. He yeah. Used to wrap him in right. Exactly. He never. That's that's why babies like it because they like to be in a lot of pressure, and he never grew out of that. He, those senses never got to where they said, "Oh, I don't need that anymore." They need that. Feeling. Okay. And so the more we can satisfy that feeling, the more we can give that to him, then those senses will eventually grow up and say, oh, I don't need that anymore. You know, okay. I, I feel fine now. So uh, that's the whole thing. Anyway. So this kind of thing, this kind of thing, this is a support group. Um, it's the Arkansas um, Autism Center. And they do provide classes. Okay. It's like a three... Um, I don't have no this pockets. on Saturdays or something, and it's a class, you know, an hour or two class on different things. And so that, that may come down and see if they, what classes they have come up. So, y'all, this paper with the classes was, like, one of the most helpful things that she could have gave us. Uh, really, what I'm learning for us with autism, and this was the lady from the first video, so I don't know if I'm going to put her on the first video or the second video. Because this is just kind of wrapping up our uh, visit or whatever. But to me, it seems like even professionals don't know what really will work. Or no one professional, like with a doctor degree, have put together anything in Arkansas for us with autism. So it's kind of like one of those things that you wing in it. And like, there's more assistance out here. But it's an issue with even getting the assistance that you need. But with these classes, me and Jay feel like it will be better for us. Because we will be able to talk to parents that actually have kids with autism. It can actually help us with questions that we uh would have. Are you getting his diapers paid for? Or are you buying them? Uh, Mike, the diaper guy, we have them. Yeah. Okay. So he takes care of you. Okay, good. That was something I thought of. I thought, oh, I forgot to ask for that. So I want to make sure he's getting that. And then, um, now, Jay, you're going to have to explain the thing things that just doesn't work and process it. So we need to leave lots of pictures. So put these on the refrigerator and go through them with them every night. Okay, it's time to do this. It's time to do this. Appoint him and, and make sure that he sees 
Uh, those you know how people have those pictures that you're talking about but they have them on like a blue thing yes. that you can rip off where yes. can we find those things those are at called pets, and i wrote that down for you ask the speech therapist they're not called pics. Uh, the blue thing I'm talking about is like, say for instance, you have a poster on the wall and you put a picture on the poster. Like it normally, but they like Velcro and take come off the wall. But it's something, it's called something besides pics. Pics are just the pictures that she's talking about. Jackson is in here letting me know that he wants something to eat. The blazing speed meter's full. Tap me. Good job. Help me collect more. How he gonna hold his cup? <laughs> The tablet and blaze, but okay, good, good. Because I bet they use it still with him. Okay. And she can use the coffee, but you can also, uh, they've got free copies on the internet a lot. Okay. So that you can download them and, and like I said, just take them back off the seat and get them laminated. No, they're like, put the 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 and the magnet on them. Okay. Yeah. But talk to a speech therapist and ask for the pets. Okay. Because that's what you're wanting. Yeah. Because then you can put them in order of what you're going to do that yeah. day. And then you have snacks. Mm -hmm. Hey. Ask him what he wants. He's like that. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 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 Okay. 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 Quarterly, the parents whose children have been newly diagnosed. So, That's what? They got various fundraising, awareness activities, legislative. You know what I forgot about? Service dogs for him. Mm. Yeah. That's good because we got more information than we got at first. Because at first I didn't think she was going to be no help. Like, no lie. Okay, y'all. Again, this video, I'm editing this video, and all this stuff will be up February the second. Well, it won't be up. I'm doing this edit February the second, 2020. Happy uh, Black History Month if you're black. Happy Black History Month. And 2020 today is February zero two zero two two two, and you do it backwards, and it's gonna say the same thing if you like flip it around. That's dope. This only happened, I think, what, once every, like, nine or ten years where you could flip around the date and it still be the same date. So, yeah. And it's in Black History Month. So, gang, 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 gang. And it's the month of Aquarius. Y'all know my birthday already passed. <sighs> I'm getting old. I ain't gonna tell y'all how old I am, but I'm getting old. Uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said i just do these videos so people that's my color can sit here and see that we actually deal with kids with autism i see a lot of autism channels that don't really talk about i see a lot of channels that's to do with autism but they're not never black or brown so yes we have kids that have autism and i just wanted to talk to you guys about that and not just people that's black or brown that has kids with autism, but any and everybody that has kids with autism. I just wanted to use my platform since I noticed that no one of our, what do you say, community actually talks about this issue. I know there's a lot of other issues I could talk about, but I know there's far as autism, you know, and the black, maybe brown, but the black community, a lot of people don't like to admit if something's wrong with their kid because they already were sterile. Uh, it's already said that we will have something wrong with us anyway, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have wanted to really sit here and say. Um, what else was I gonna say? Be sure to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Jay's Place TV. He do a lot of CBD, uh, hemp videos, he does gaming and fishing, but mainly he do CBD reviews, and it's mainly hemp that he uh talk about. I will sit here and say, uh on this video, I don't. I know I'm gonna put it up sometime in uh, February, and it's gonna be sometime recent after this uh, date of me pre-recording and editing and fixing it. Uh, this year, I plan on doing a podcast that that way we can talk about more serious issues versus the type of stuff that I put on this channel. The stuff that I put on this channel is solely like Julian autism stuff. When we learn about autism, it's like a family channel. It's updates. 
is Amazon unboxings. And so y'all probably can hear Jackson. Uh, he didn't took over my bed. Julian is getting on my nerves. So what I was gonna say is on my channel, you will see a lot of Amazon unboxings, baby updates, Julian with his artism, day in life videos, clean and motivational, like anything lifestyle of a stay at home mom and like uh, family artism that will be on this channel. I also got a beauty channel for you guys to be want to know about all my beauty stuff. Uh, subscribe to Jay's place. My beauty channel is linked somewhere down in the description. I really don't promote it because I don't put a lot of stuff on the channel. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Uh, I think I got like maybe five videos on there. Um, but yeah, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Be blessed. Peace.